So in that case, I did not realize how much money commercial fishermen make in cash when they bring in a large haul of fish. So he had like gotten $40,000 and he was not a big bank person. So he kept it in cash. Mm -hmm. So he had um, had rolls of money and he'd given actually his mom some to hold and then he had some and he'd hidden some. There were three suspects. And so he, they knew he had taken in a big haul um, of money. And so they broke in while they were sleeping and they held him at gunpoint to steal the money. They had covered themselves with like t-shirts and one had a mask and one had a gun the other gun was a BB gun. They went in, they got into a struggle with him. One of them fired the gun and shot him in the abdomen. They transported him and he ended up succumbing to his injuries. So as they were fleeing, they ran down this entire neighborhood. And as they were running, they were discarding things. They, they were smart. Again, this was smart. They had latex gloves on. They had disguised their faces, but then they started taking the items off. So they <laughs> discarded the latex gloves. One was in the grass. Three were in the uh, garbage can. You know, they dropped the magazine. There were live rounds. You know, we had um, a pouch. We had the BB gun that we ended up finding underneath one of the trucks. And that's actually where I got the fingerprint. I got a palm print. Um, and I was like thinking to myself, self, if I were the suspect <laughs> and I was throwing this gun under this car, where might I touch? And I ended up with his palm print right on the side of the truck where he must have put his hand on uh -huh. it as he tossed the gun to study himself. After he took he... his gloves off like a dumbass. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and that was the first lead I gave to Pinellas Park was his name mm -hmm. um, off his palm. And then that led to the uh, arrest. I didn't even know there had been a DNA um, hit on that one until I was being deposed. And, and of course, there were three attorneys representing the three different defendants. Mm -hmm. And one of them goes, I hope it's not my client's glove that you got the blood on and I, and I was like oh I didn't know that you know because we don't it's an outside agency right, don't uh -huh. we don't always hear back on those um, identifications and it turned out the victim's blood was on the on one of the gloves um, and then I had the DNA on each of their gloves from swabbing the cuffs of the gloves so yeah and what did you say you called it we called it my scavenger yeah. crime scene because literally it was all down the roadway there was something discarded and all three of them in jail, got prosecuted. All three. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep.